Hello, beautiful, and welcome back to another video. I am so happy you are here because I have had this video requested so many times times but i wanted to do it in the right way i wanted to come with you with the most amount of information tips that i can help you to afford and to budget for your glow up to budget for your higher self to afford the girl of your dreams if this is the first time you're seeing my face hello my name is jazz i create a lot of content on how to glow up how to become your best self so if that's something that you're really trying to focus on this year go ahead hit the follow button like like this video for more glow up tips and comment the number one personal finance tip that you swear by. I want to know, put me on. I also want to give a major shout out to today's sponsor. Thank you so much Rocket Money for sponsoring this video and supporting this community. I will talk about them a little bit later on. Okay, let's get right into today's video. I saw this TikTok. I will put the creator right up here. And she was basically saying the hard honest truth is when you see these girls glowing up, becoming their best selves it requires money it's not just going to happen overnight are there free things that you can do are there free things that i'm going to mention in this video of course but i would be remiss as your sister as your big sister as your little sister as just your girlfriend to tell you that your glow up is gonna cost some money that is why it is so important to be smart about budgeting smart about your finances if you are truly on this path to investing in yourself you have to remember this is an investment in yourself it's probably one of the best investments that you can possibly make now for me personally i won't say that i've had to completely start from ground zero but sometimes it feels like that i was not brought up in a very financially savvy environment my definition of finances was to save everything my parents were extremely frugal didn't spend their money on things that just didn't need to be spent on and the mentality was just save everything credit cards were bad and if you can't buy it three times over then you can't afford it if you don't have cash for it you can't afford it that was my baseline of finances you know i didn't really know anything about credit scores credit cards, Roth IRAs, high yield savings, all of these things that I've kind of had to self teach myself. More honest conversations with my mom, it's definitely been helpful. But man, like I remember when I got to college and there were just kids that had like been had a credit card, been known what a credit score was, that were just so far ahead of me financially. You know, I was 18, 19 years old and I felt like I was so far behind. Honestly, I still feel like I'm kind of far behind. I'm still learning the best that I can. I'm only 27. So I think that I'm getting things in motion right now. But uh, as I have learned on my journey and as I look back on my glow up journey and you know, I'm so glad that I invested in the money of myself and I continue to invest in the money of myself. But I do think there are some things that I did right. There are some things that I could have done better. And there are some things that I'm going to implement in the future that I would love to share it with you today. If you are new to this page, let me tell you one thing. I am extremely type A. So of course I have broken this video up into two separate parts that will make it really, really easy for you to develop a plan for your globe journey. First part, I want to talk about your mentality, your relationship to money. That's gonna be very interesting and exciting to talk about and then the second part is just going to be chock full of some of my best financial tips for you i really hope in this video that the comment section becomes almost like a discussion board where you know people share their best tips maybe some mistakes that they've learned from and what they would do differently what they would pass on to future generations i really just want to have a really good conversation a lot of my information nowadays are from podcasts from other women from mentors whatever it might be so please comment something down below. I would love to learn from you. Let's talk about your mentality. Let's talk about money energy. Let's talk about identity. Let's talk about it all. One of the best things that you can start to realize is you need to start forming a relationship with money. What does a relationship have? A relationship has honesty, 
it has respect, it has care, it has understanding, it has commitment, it has loyalty. Those are all things that make up a relationship and that's what you should start to see money as because it is probably, and I'm being honest here, one of the most important relationships that you're gonna have in your life. I don't think money necessarily buys happiness, but, but money at least for me has been able to hire a cleaning service to take something off of my back. Money has been able to pay for that flight to go travel and see the world and learn about other cultures. Money has been able to me to give back to my mom, to treat my mom. Those are all things that inherently bring me happiness, that bring me joy, that bring me peace, that bring me convenience, that bring me rest. So money is definitely an energy. It is a force. I have to have a relationship with it if I'm going to invest in myself. Just like a relationship, if you were with your partner, would you go around telling everybody, this relationship sucks, this relationship makes me so mad this relationship is horrible i don't even know why i'm in this relationship why would you do that it's almost like you're speaking over that relationship it's almost like you're making it become true it's the same thing with money you've got to stop saying i am poor I can't afford that, I can't do that. This world is unfair, everybody only cares about money. You gotta stop using those adjectives and those affirmations inwards and both outwards. Affirmations, good or bad, are things that we tell ourselves, our inner dialogue, and we can start to match our reality to what we say good or bad. Instead of saying, I can't afford this, I can't do this, I'll never be able to do this, I want you to start thinking, what is the best that I can do for right now? Maybe luxury, maybe convenience doesn't necessarily look like hiring a full-fledged cleaning service. Maybe it looks like finding some really good discounts at Target or at Walmart, buying some really good cleaning products. Maybe that looks like investing a little bit nicer of a vacuum or a steam cleaner and deep cleaning your house on your own, falling in love Love with that process of cleaning your space and romanticizing cleaning up and taking care of your environment maybe that is what luxury and taking care of yourself means what is the best that i can do right now maybe on your glove journey clearing your skin is super 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 important to you. Maybe there are other things in your life that need more dedication than getting a full-fledged esthetician and medical grade skincare. What is the best that I can do right now? What sales are going on at Sephora? What sales are going on at Target or Ulta? Is there any room in my budget that I can treat myself to this nice face mask? What can I do right now for my glove journey? I promise you it's not nothing. Maybe it is just a slight pivot for now for more gains in the future. This relationship that you have towards money it should not be one of lack, especially if you start framing it in the form of your glove journey, in the form of reinventing yourself. Money then starts to become, like I said, an energy or a gateway into you becoming your higher self. It starts to mean much more than a dollar bill. It starts to mean something very, very deep and very, very personal, something that is going to allow you to upgrade yourself in whatever way you see fit. I was listening to Margarita Nizenko. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure you have recognized her everywhere. Um, she has a podcast and then she has a YouTube channel as well. And I was watching her YouTube channel and I forget what the title of it's called, but she said something that was very, very true. She says, money comes to an idea. She gives an example of, you know, her husband being a provider and everything was great like that. But she says she had some of her best ideas when she was pregnant, when she had her kids. There was a reason to give herself financial freedom. There was a reason to you know make money there was just such a deeper emotional reason when she had kids that money meant a whole bunch more to her than just i want to make a hundred thousand okay but why she says money is attracted to an idea i found that really really powerful in the terms of your glow up journey or trying to upgrade yourself because it becomes less of like i want to make ten thousand dollars a month i want to make 100k a year i want to make a million dollars in a year and it becomes more so i want to live a healthy lifestyle i want to live long i want to feel good on the outside and on the inside what are the things that i need to do or what are the healthy meals that i need to make to make myself feel good and how can I use money to achieve those goals. It needs so much more than just the dollar amount, if that makes sense. It's like your glove journey. You're gonna have to find what motivates you, and this is going to be the baseline for attracting money and manifesting more into your life for your glove journey. Check out a whole bunch of my other glove journey videos. You'll see throughout there that you need to have a why for your glow up. It doesn't need to be to get back at an ex, it doesn't need to be to prove people wrong. For me, 
when I look back on my glow up journey, I wouldn't even call it a glow up journey because I felt like my back was against the wall. I felt like I had no choice but to become a better me. I feel like God almost gave me a second chance at life. How could I not become the best version of myself? And once I started pouring into myself, once I started investing in myself step by step by step, I started to share my journey with others. I started connecting with more people and I truly found my purpose in becoming a better me and then giving people the overflow of all the things that I've learned on that glow up journey. And I feel like once I was in alignment with that, once I found what motivated me, once I found a community of women that were on the same track as me, it's gonna sound silly, but I feel like God, the universe, whatever you might believe in, kept putting me in positions financially to where I just started to attract to this idea of becoming a better me. My relationship with money changed. You know, I no longer wanted to be rich. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to feel good about myself. I wanted to look in the mirror and be like, I look good. I wanted to go to bed at night and I wanted to feel grateful. I wanted to feel a great sense of gratitude. My mentality changed. My relationship with it changed. My identity changed. And you are what you attract. And I feel like once I started to resonate that energy, and I know this sounds woo woo, but I'm being honest with you. Once I started to hold myself to a standard, I am an abundant person and I can make any thing happen. I really feel like the energy that I started to put out financially just started to come right back to me because I demanded it of the universe. I demanded it of my life. So my reality just started to kind of catch up to me. Now that I've given you the big sister pep talk, let's get into some actionable things that you can start doing today to start affording your glow up journey. I'm going to start with something very simple that I learned from my parents. If I can't buy it two or three times over, then I cannot afford it. Literally, I have always grown up with this mentality. It's become so natural to me. If I see something for $3, would I be willing to pay $9 for it? Like, do I have $9 right now to just give? And if I don't, then I'm not buying it. I always multiply things by double or I'll triple it. Whatever it is, I don't care if it is a car, if it is a house, whatever it might be. The second thing that I do is I always surround myself in abundance, you know? Back to what I was saying, I affirm myself as an abundant being. I'm one of God's children. I am abundant. I'm literally made from stars. So why would I not want to surround myself in abundant places? I've mentioned this multiple times before. Maybe this looks like working from a nice coffee shop in a nice neighborhood. First of all, you'd be very surprised who you will meet there if you just introduce yourself. Second of all, I don't know. It is just the energy working in a nice place. It really just does motivate you. Take a day try it out maybe it doesn't work for you but it always works for me working in a nice coffee shop in a nice neighborhood I always leave that coffee shop being like I need to build a business plan I need to do this I need to do that and then if I don't leave the coffee shop like that I have one or two interactions or maybe I've just observed a meeting where it's like I can't wait till I get to that moment go to the Ritz Carlton and order a mocktail at the bar you could go to the Four Seasons and just get a dessert or an appetizer with a nice drink maybe this just looks like finding a nice neighborhood with beautiful trees being in nature taking a long walk in your favorite workout set now that the weather is becoming more nice just surrounding yourself in abundant places raises your frequency raises your vibration and makes it easier to just attract that more into your life it also just helps you tap in with that glowed up version of yourself of course my higher self works in a coffee shop like this she lives in a neighborhood like this of course she takes walks and has time in her day to take walks and observe nature and feel this frequency in abundance of course this is what she does it goes back to that mentality what is something that i can do right now what i can do right now is i can go on google i can type in buckhead i can type in dunwoody wherever you might be i can look for nice coffee shops in that area and i can bring my computer i can bring my notepad i can bring my phone maybe i treat myself that week and i save up to buy the overpriced lattes and i can sit there for a couple hours and i can get my work done and I can sit back and I can maybe read a book and, and this is what makes me glow and this is what makes me feel good and this is what makes me feel like I'm tapped in 
to that woman. Okay, so now I wanna mention some personal finance development tools that have been really, 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 really integral on my personal finance journey, and I feel like it's really going to help you afford your glow up journey. Y'all, I have my phone out right now because I have been a member of Rocket Money since April of 2022. It is free to download, but I wanted to show y'all I started paying for premium in April of 2022. Yes, they're today's sponsorship, but when they reached out, I was like, girl, I've already been using you. If you've never heard of Rocket Money before, it's a personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower bills, and just overall manage your money better. It's really a all-in-one app that can really help you achieve financial freedom. Now, if you saw from my phone, I downloaded this in April, 2022. 2022 was the year that I graduated business school. I went from undergrad to law school to business school. I had a lot of student loans. I wasn't really too savvy on credit cards or whatever. I was about to just be an adult for the first time. And me, I start researching all of like the best personal finance tools and Rocket Money came up. So I downloaded it specifically because it said that it would cancel your subscriptions for you. And when I opened up the app, I was shocked at how many subscriptions that I didn't even know know that I was paying for. One of the best things on the app, what they can do is they can look at your account, they can safely identify all of the things that you are paying for, monthly or annually, whatever it might be. And through the app, you can choose these subscriptions and they will cancel them for you. They will like literally reach out to whatever company is charging you and cancel them for you. You need to worry about customer service calls or any back and forth. This literally helped me save hundreds of dollars. That's initially why I downloaded it. After all of my subscriptions were handled, then it really, really, really helped me to set a budget. Once I downloaded the app for free, it really helped me to analyze my spending habit, created a customized plan that worked with my glow up journey, the things that I wanted to be able to afford and the things that I found necessary for me to glow up. I literally had a spending category called self care that rocket money really helped me save for and budget for appropriately because i believe during that time the biggest investment i can make was in myself and then for the future rocket money can also help you set up really smart saving goals you can choose the amount and you can choose the frequency rocket money will automatically deposit those savings into a smart savings account that draw from any time one of the biggest pieces of advice that i have gotten is nobody should know your money better than you and sometimes you really just need to sit down and analyze your spending and rocket money like you've seen has helped me personally for years and i really think that it can help you out too as you start to think about how to invest in yourself how to upgrade your life how to afford your glow up journey you can take control of your finances today you can go to rocketmoney.com slash jazz turner i will also have the link down in my description so that you can download the app for free obviously i downloaded the app for free but ended up getting premium because i saw so much benefits in it and obviously i've kept it for a couple of years so i truly believe in this definitely click my link down below let me know if it's helped you and thank you so much rocket money for sponsoring this community sponsoring this video for helping me reach my personal finance goals and helping my audience as well Speaking of apps or things that can help you afford your glow up journey also consume financial content the best that you can this can be in podcasts, this can be in books, this can mean getting a subscription to the Wall Street Journal or whatever financial magazine that you see fit. This can even look like picking like three to five financial content creators that you follow on TikTok, that you follow on Instagram, that you follow on YouTube so that when you open your social media feed, maybe you learn something about investing, maybe you learn something about how to manage your money better, something where you can consume content and you can learn. I'm not a financial girly, I'm just a girly that sees a certain lifestyle for myself, but I will include some of my favorite podcast, Instagram content creators down below that um, I would highly recommend that you follow on your glow up journey. I don't know if this is four or five, but one of the main things that I would recommend that you do that gave me a lot of peace of mind is starting the basic accounts. So of course, you have 
have your checking and then you have your savings. You should definitely have a credit card and purchase most of your things on a credit card, pay them off ideally as soon as you make the purchase off of your debit card. I personally pay off my credit card every two weeks. And then I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting a high yield savings account and a Roth IRA. Again, I'm not a financial guru, but these are some of the things, especially as somebody that works for themselves, you know, I, I'm, I'm just starting to learn. So, you know, putting my savings in a high yield savings account, maxing out my Roth IRA, analyzing my spending habits through my checking account, making sure I'm on top of my credit score, making sure I'm on top of my credit cards and everything like that makes me feel less crazy and makes me feel actually very, very in control. It just makes me feel like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have it. I have it together. Now, if you're confused on what accounts to start, this takes a simple Google search or going on YouTube and watching some financial starting accounts. But another thing that you can do that I would recommend is getting a financial advisor. Now, I wanna caution this. Nobody should know your money better than you. So that's why we go back to that mentality do what you can right now. That's why we download apps like Rocket Money so that we can start to analyze our own spending. If you have a little bit extra, I would definitely recommend getting a financial advisor, somebody that has dedicated their craft towards money, somebody that you can communicate your goals to and they can develop a strategy for you to achieve those goals, to achieve the lifestyle that you see for your higher self. I would highly recommend getting a financial advisor. Another great piece of advice that I have if you are trying to to afford your glow up journey is. Sometimes I feel like, you know, from the outside looking in on social media, I think it seems like I have it all together and I live this luxurious lifestyle. And the thing is, I do. But it is because I am allocating my money towards the things that I care about. I don't, I think y'all see like abundance, but you see abundance in a very, very pointed area. I don't allocate my money the same through everything. Now, what do I mean by this? I think y'all see the expensive body butters, the nice face mask, some nice jewelry here and there, but that is because I don't care about my cooking wear. That's because honestly, a lot of my furniture is from Amazon. That's because honestly, I don't care if a white t-shirt is from Zara or it's from Gucci or it's from Walmart. My finances, in my glow up journey, the things that I cared about, I really, really cared about clearing up my skin. I really, really cared about my physical body staying healthy. And I really, really cared about my wellness. So of course, you know, I'm a wellness content creator. I'm a lifestyle content creator. You see luxurious things, but that's because that is what I care about. Does that make sense? I don't spread everything out then. I don't have the most luxurious cooking wear set. I have the most luxurious body butters. That is what I care about on my glow up journey. You really, really have to understand what matters to you on your glow up journey. It goes back to that relationship. What do you care most about in a relationship? Do you care about communication? Do you care about quality time? Do you care about gift giving? You know, to one person, if you give a million gifts and your love language is gift giving, it's gonna look like the best person in the world. But if you take somebody love language is quality time and you give them a whole bunch of gifts, it's not gonna mean much to them. What I'm basically trying to say is you need to allocate your finances to the portion of your glow up journey that you care the most about. Maybe it is your weight. Maybe it is your health. Maybe it is your clothes. Maybe you wanna express yourself through clothes a little bit more. So what does that mean? That means having a really basic skincare routine and allocating your finances a little bit more towards fashion and expressing yourself or home decor or cooking or traveling. Allocating your finances to the things that you actually care about. Benji just got a haircut. This is him. <laughs> okay, lastly, y'all, I wanted to end this video by kind of rapid firing some of my best glow up tips. A lot of these are gonna be beauty related. Number one, if we are talking about beauty services, Groupon is going to be your best friend. I have found amazing, amazing deals, especially for beauty services on Groupon. I'm talking great deals for laser hair removal, for getting your nails done, for getting a facial, whatever it might be, it is probably on Groupon. 
even massages really like luxe beauty care things like that you should always check Groupon before anything else. If a facial studio, a medical spa that you frequent a lot has some type of subscription plan, I would highly recommend doing that. I have found it is just so much better for my wallet. You get discounts, you get to really form a relationship with whoever is there for Botox, for fillers, for facials, to whatever aesthetics you might be. I find that the medical spa subscriptions are actually really, really worth it. Buying the bullet one year, for buying things off season. If you just bite the bullet one year and just buy things off season one year, you will always be on it forevermore. It will save you a whole bunch of money. Now, this is gonna sound kind of counterintuitive, but I promise you it's not. Doing high maintenance things to be low maintenance. So what does that mean? Me personally, I like getting acrylics and I like getting it, this is put it in neutral by OPI and I get clear acrylic. Now, from here, my nails look pretty good. But you see how you can't really tell because it matches my nail bed? That is how I only get my nails done once a month. It is the same thing for my toes. I have French tip on my toes and I have put it in neutral. My toes already obviously grow slower than my nails, but I don't have to get them done as often. Same thing with microblading. It might be a high upfront cost, but I really never have to do my eyebrows again and I always look put together. Same thing with my hair. I love a sew-in. First of all, sew-ins are fairly cheap. They've definitely gone up in price nowadays. But for me personally, a sew-in makes me feel put together. It's a little bit more easy to manage my natural hair. I can cut it. I can put different colors in it without damaging my hair. And I only have my leave out and it allows me to grow out my natural hair underneath the braids that is why i love sew-ins in terms of skincare this is my personal opinion you can save a lot of money by only really just investing in your retinol and by virtue your serums your moisturizer your toner your cleanser you don't need to get the highest price it can be cetaphil it can be cerave it can be whatever it might be now those serums which have been patented which have been researched those are the things that i would spend your money on i wouldn't buy this whole kit for 500 dollars. i would buy a 10 dollar cleanser a 10 dollar moisturizer and then yeah spending like 50 100 dollars on that serum because not only will it work not only will it last we'll actually see results the most from your serums and from your retinol especially with retinol i personally use dramatica i think it is really affordable i think it's really nice they have really nice blends i used to work with them in the past i don't know if my discount code works anymore but um i have continued to spend my own money on it just because it works great for my pockets one says this on the internet but i would be remiss if i didn't tell you this i would honestly find a way that you can make money online there are so many ways that you can make money online with very very minimal effort and the goal is honestly to make it passive there's a great great video Oh, I am forgetting her name, but she has so many glove videos. She has so many femininity videos. And I think she just came out with a video. I will include it down below. I'll include it right here. She just came out with a video as how to stay soft, how to stay feminine when starting a business, because obviously starting a business has a lot to it, but how do you remain soft and how do you remain feminine? She gives great advice for um, passive income. It's just, it's just a great video. Those are some beauty money saving habits off the top of my head. Again, I would love if you comment some down below some of the ways that you save for your glow up journey i hope you have found this video so helpful i was kind of nervous to make this video because i don't know everything about finances and i'm figuring it out through personal finance tools like rocket money through podcasts through youtube i'm really just figuring it out on my own, but I think I'm doing a good job. You know, I'm saving for retirement. I have my savings. I think this content creator thing is working out well for me. And then even if it all goes away tomorrow, I still have my education. I still have my MBA. I still have half of a law degree. Um, so I, I feel I feel good. I feel good about this direction that I am going in. And hopefully you learned at least
least one thing that'll be helpful for you to afford your glow up journey. Because you know, the hard honest truth is this, this is gonna take some money. I like how I've invested in myself. I like how I have invested in this glow up journey. You know, when I look back on it, any money that I have spent on myself, I've never regretted. Whether it be traveling, whether it be a workout class, whether it be an overpriced latte, a nice coffee shop where I worked for a couple hours. I've never regretted pouring into myself. Um, because when I pour into myself and I fill my cup up to 100%, I can give my friends and my family the overflow of that. And it really all started when I changed my relationship with money, when I started to identify myself as an abundant person, when I started to identify myself as I deserve the world and you do too you always deserve the best. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you again so much Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video, for supporting this community. Again, you can click my link down below. It'll be rocketmoney.com slash jazz turner. Um, download the app for free, play around with it, see if you've liked it. Um, I will continue to use it. I've been using it for years. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. It's just women supporting other women and I I love it here and I hope you do too. Like this video, it tells the algorithm to push this video out and it really helps me a lot. And comment something down below. I really hope the comment section just becomes a discussion board for us. So yeah, I'll include all of my socials down below. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, whatever it might be, and I'll talk to you later. Bye y'all.